Okay guys, let's address a few things before I get into this video. Yes, I did cut my hair. Um, I normally don't wear it like this. It's usually to this side with a swoop, but didn't want to wear it like that today. I am currently at the, um, I don't know what you want to call this, the oil change place with my friend. She's getting an oil change and then she's going to go and get a car wash. It's all in the same place. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today and then I'll get back on and let you guys know where we end up next right now. I'm just on YouTube watching Keisha Kaylee. Um, she posted kind of late today, Keisha. But yeah, I'm at the um, I'm at the oil change and car wash spot. Just chilling, waiting in the car, waiting for everything to be done. So I'll see you guys at the next spot. So, I'm ready. Let me go out here so you can see my makeup. This is my makeup. Um, I don't have on me on any, I don't have on any eyeshadow. I just did my basic everyday makeup look with a dark lips, some lashes, and whatever. Let me show you my OOTD. Let me see. My OOTD got a little thrifted um, army fatigue jacket with this Forever 21 dress underneath it with my boots from Forever 21 as well. So, this is my outfit. Hey guys, so I'm in my hometown, I guess you can call it that. I'm about to take my Nana, well I'm about to, I'm sorry if I'm not in focus really can't see but I'm about to pick my nana up and then drop my nephew off to his dad um I just wanted to get on the camera today and talk a little bit about what's been going on with me you guys ever feel like the world is crashing down on you all the things that could go wrong are going wrong all at the same time like one by one that has been happening to me lately and so far, I haven't really complained about anything. I haven't, you know, been making a big deal out of everything. I'm like, in my head, like low key about to have like a panic attack, but I'm kind of, I'm trying to keep my composure, but I think it's really starting to get to me. And then on top of that, My biggest fear is dying. I, I don't know why that's my biggest fear or how it came about, but lately I've been thinking about death. Lately I've been thinking about death a lot more often than I have been doing in the past, last month. And it's really like driving me insane. Like I wake up in the middle of the night crying out of nowhere. It just feels really odd. So I'm going through a, a lot. It's like internal stuff. But like I'm going through a lot and I'm really trying to like get out of this rut. Like get myself together with my personal self, you know, with my personal life, like my car and everything. And then like mentally I'm trying to like get to uh I'm happy, like I'm you know, like I'm not complaining or anything. I'm trying not to complain, but I'm alive, I'm well. I just got a few things going on and it's just like it seems like it's never gonna end right now like when I tell you guys there's been so much going on lately like I wish I could get all well I can't get all into details but it's just like you know mm, I'd rather not have you guys all like in all of my biz naive so I'll just I guess speak about it indirectly but some of the things that have been going on like that had me stressed out were 
Number one, um, my car got towed away. I couldn't find it. And then when I did find it, it ended up coming out to be like over a thousand dollars to get it back. Then, shit, it was almost two thousand dollars to get it back. Then, somebody stole my phone out of a restaurant the other day. And my phone's all the way, and I'm in New Jersey, so the person, I live in Monmouth County. Well, I don't live in Monmouth County. I was in Monmouth County eating out with my goddad, and the person who took my phone ended up in Camden with my phone. And I, you know, like I did that, find my iPhone, whole jazz, and it, it was in Camden, and then the person, whoever it was, they live in Camden, but they work at uh, some farm or garden or something like that in um, Morristown so the guy's all like yeah you could come to Morristown to get your phone da, da, da. he's like oh like yeah I found your phone like nigga you didn't find like you did not find my phone whoever his girlfriend was did find it and kept it and I asked them when we were at the restaurant like did they have my phone and the girl was like no but now she's admitting that she has it and they're willing to give it back to me I just have to after I drop them, after I drop him off, I might, my nana will let me, because this is her car. Um, I might be able to go to the police station. I haven't been able to go yet today because I've been working. I'm surprised at how well this camera set up. my nana comes out I need to like give her this key because it's my pop pops but he's inside if you're all still working I really need you guys to say a prayer for me and hopes that everything will be okay but I will say the other day the night that the guy stole my phone or that the woman stole my phone and gave it to her boyfriend um, that night, I was, like, literally about to, like, break down. I was, like, almost in tears. I just, like, felt my eyes, like, swelling up. Because, like I said, there was so many other things that just happened to me that I was just, like, okay, like, literally. I was thinking, like, prior to that, like, what else can go wrong? And then something else did go wrong. I lost my phone, and somebody took it all the way to Camden. Um, but anyway, I was laying down, or I was, I was sitting down in a chair. I was just, you know, relaxing. And I like felt my eyes swelling up and I just closed them because I didn't feel like crying. I didn't feel like doing that. You know, like I don't like to be all sappy and be all weak and stuff. So, I mean, I know it's okay to cry, but I didn't feel like doing that. So, um, I just closed my eyes and I said a prayer and I, you know, like I prayed for God to like help me through you know through my trials and tribulations right now that I'm going through and it's so crazy when I woke up the guy who has my phone he called my aunt because I put my aunt's number I, I put the phone in lost mode so that when you open the phone or so that when you touch the phone you can't do, do anything but all you will see is just um a black screen and it'll just say words like you know this phone is in lost uh, this phone has been lost if you find it da, da, da. I personalized the message because I did the find my iPhone and I saw that I saw the exact address to where they were and I put on there I said um, you know I see that you're at such and such such address I put the exact address that they were at and you know I told them you know here's the number you could contact me at um, so I can get my phone if you don't I will call the police. You know, I have your address. So the very next day after, you know, I prayed about it. Um, he called the next day and he said that he had my phone. And I'll just, I'll just, um, he said that he had my phone and he wants me to come get it. But I don't have a ride to come get it. I feel like he should get bring me my phone because nobody told his ass to take it. But yeah, guys, here's my name my nana. She's mad I won't let her in the car. She's sticking up her mouth.
Guys, I'm so sorry about my my appearance. I know I look like who shot John, but look. I'm gonna go work out in a little while. So I'm gonna work out cool on. House. Let me tell y'all about Jazz. Jazz, where you at? Right here. Young as hell. Oh, she own a house, y'all. So we about to give y'all a house tour. Hey, say hey to Jazz. Hey y'all. This was the bathroom, right? Her bathroom popping down here. Half bath. I can't even say half bath because I got a shower in there. I don't know. Who am I? Yes, cousin. Beautiful ass kitchen. Y'all see that? It's dark in here. I got this table from Uncle Drew. Going up the stairs. Jazz with the fatty. Jazz with the fatty. I ain't coming over here. There's too many dang on stairs yet. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's so pretty. This is her bathroom. It's so cute. Thank you. You, you which was in here? That what is that? This is going to be my bedroom. This is my extra bedroom. In my closet. Oh, dang. You don't got no light in there. Oh, look. Oh, Jazz. Look at Jazz's closet, y'all. She going to fill this bad boy up, I'm sure. Because you know you and your clothes. And this is my room, y'all. This is my room. Here's the closet. Who's stuff in the closet? Huh? Who's stuff is this in the closet? It's mine. Uh, what's that, your uniform for work? Yes, y'all, my cousin Jazz is a soldier. She lit. You got washing and dryer in here? Yeah, it's in the, in the thing. You had to buy that or was already here? In the Jazz, you lit. <laughs> now I got somewhere to sneak to when I want to do something. I ain't got no business. Sneak, sneak right on the Jazz. So Jazz, I'm outside. All right, y'all, that's 